Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys. Ash Wednesday. Hey, I'm so glad you're here. Hey everyone. Hi. Trying to be so joyful on Ash Wednesday. I just feel so joyful. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, my darling. I'm so glad we're doing this. I know, me too. I'm so glad oh, you invited me. <laughs> um, for all my worst moments, it's just a demand. When I when I feel a single tear, I will reach out into the internet and you, and you will be there. Oh my darling. I'm so glad we're doing this. It just feels like and 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 that the last time we did this version that we were we were doing all all souls day, all saints day. I just it feels right that we can we can we are like practicing being in the dust. Yeah, that our name will be on the litany that other faithful after us will name on all saints. Yeah. 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 I don't, um, I don't know how to do this except, uh, except that I know that, uh, since I first met you, you, you do make me feel brave and this, and this, and I think the church and this community, it helps reflect back to me that like, this is a thing that we can do is that we can learn to be here together with the, um, with the absurdity and the um, exhaustion of, of being, of being, of learning to be finite. And I don't know how to do that very well, but I know that when I'm around you, I feel like I, I do. And when we do this stuff together and we like dig into these ancient traditions, it does make me feel like we can learn to like right. open up the aperture of that space. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, they, these, these practices have been worn smooth by generations of the faithful, you know? Stop saying beautiful things like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we're all here. If, if anyone needs one second, so um, and don't worry, we have okayed it with the, the, the Ecumenical Council. We're just reaching for, um, we don't likely, you don't likely in your possession have... Um, burnt palm leaves from last <laughs> from last Easter. So just feel free to take a second and grab something you can like um, like soot works, like I've got flour here, but that we're just gonna have a little moment in the service where we can um, we can get marked by um, by this tradition. So if you just want to run for one second and go get your flour or something like that, or if you've got a match nearby, let's do it. This is a time, we're so glad you're here. This is the place, um, the only intense bossiness you will receive is that you will be bossed into the belief that you are loved and chosen by God and that this, and that this space is for all of us. And, um, and that we don't have to do this apart anymore. So, welcome. Welcome to our Ash Wednesday service. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can be here and relax. This is our chance to settle into God's love and into to kind of be um, right-sized to our finitude. Mm -hmm. And um, we can be loved as we are tired, loved as we are finite. Ash Wednesday, um, as you all know, marks the beginning of this period of Lent, this 40 days where Christians um, walk up to the very edge of death and then are shocked every year by Easter. And so I am here with a friend that I treasure. This is the Reverend Nadia Bolsweber. She is a Lutheran pastor. And because this is an ancient Christian rite, we needed our priest. And I am so glad that she is mine. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing this. I um I always feel like like you this is your mojo and I love that I just love that you uh <laughs> I love that you're in charge. And I heard you have someone also with you today. Yeah, um, my 20-year-old, wait, he's 6'7", 
my son <laughs> Judah is joining us. So, hey, Judah. Um, he's it's gonna so nice help. to meet you. I've heard nice all about you. you. Hi. He's going to help with the song, and uh, we're going to impose ashes on each other. So, um, yeah. Perfect. Um, I got into Lent because it was a chance to practice the big questions, the things that I feared the most, which is what if I am finite? What if I am as, as delicate as I feel? And this is the place where we get to practice saying, um, God, show me the world as it really is. Mm -hmm. Ash Wednesday is the start of our 40 day journey. And it is the weird and ancient rite of smearing ashes on our forehead as a reminder of our fragility. It's also the season of learning to walk in the dark. The season where we remember our frailty together before. It's the minute, it's the long breath before the Easter that we ultimately brings us together into hope. And since we're unable to be together in church, um, I'm grateful that we can just use what we have around. It is also a lovely reminder that God blesses the ordinary absurdity of our lives and so today that is flower <laughs> we invite you to add your prayers in the comments and so we'll read some of those later in the service so all right my loves let's right. begin deep breath grace peace and mercy are yours from the triune god amen i know some folks think um that ash wednesday is depressing <laughs> Um, and I, I totally understand why confessing our sins and marking ourselves with ashes and reminding each other that we're all going to die isn't exactly like Disney on ice. But to me, it's not depressing. Um, to me, it's refreshing, given the culture we live in. It's refreshing in a way that only um, the truth can be to those of us who live in a death-denying culture, which you, Kate, know very well a culture where what we're most often offered is the message that like we can live forever with the right combination of exercise and yoga and vacations and elective surgery. Um, but the false promises of immortality through self-improvement do nothing for those of us who truly suffer and who truly face death as a real thing. So it's a refreshing thing that we and Christians all over the world do on Ash Wednesday. When we remind each other of our mortality, when we tell each other the inescapable truth that we are dust and to dust we shall return. It's downright audacious that amidst our societal anxiety of impermanence, we just kind of blurt out that kind of truth as if it's not offensive. But the thing about blurting out this kind of truth about ourselves is that doing so allows us to all just exhale and like spiritually stop holding our stomachs in. Because there's no shame in the truth that we share a human propensity to mess things up and that our lives on earth will end. It's not depressing. What's depressing is the desperation of trying to pretend otherwise. What's depressing is to insist that I can free myself from sin and stop the march of time while I'm at it. I just haven't managed to pull it off yet. The truth about our mortality is only offensive if it's heard as an insult and not as a promise. It's only offensive when it's heard as being the last word, but it's not, it's not the last word. If Christians believe anything, it's that. So here we are. We begin this Lenten journey with an ashen cross on our heads, a dangerous mark of the relinquished self, a reminder that you are God's good creation, molded from dust, a mortal child of an eternal God. And that death and disconnection and disintegration is real. It's all real, but it's not the most real thing. So friends in Christ, today with the whole church, we begin this holy season by acknowledging our need for repentance and for God's mercy. And as disciples of Jesus, we're called to keep a holy Lent through practices that contend against evil 
and to resist whatever leads us away from the love of God and neighbor. So I invite you, therefore, to join us in the disciplines of Lent, which are self-examination and repentance, prayer and fasting, sacrificial giving, and works of love. I just don't know anything more countercultural than those. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but it is not the realest thing. <laughs> we, we ask God for help with this tending of our hearts through the prayer, which is Psalm 51. So if you want, if you're like a chatty person, feel free to say this out loud as the refrain, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Have mercy on me, O oh God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and clean me from my sin. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight. For behold, you look for truth deep within me and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Purge me from my sin and I shall be pure. Wash me and I will be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Open my lips, O oh Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Had you desired it, I would have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Now the free gift of grace in Jesus Christ, the reconciling love of God and the life and peace of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. On Ash Wednesday, we set out on the season of preparation using that ancient sign, the sign of the cross before on our foreheads with ashes. It's um, a mention, it's usually it's like the fancy version is that we take the ashes, <laughs> we burn the palm leaves from last Easter. It's our hope transformed once more into ash. And then again, and they speak of both the frailty of life and our own desire to be renewed in the joy of the resurrection. So I invite you now to just take your flower ashes, wherever you have on hand as we begin this part of the service. Potting soil. Ooh. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we will first bless our makeshift ashes and then we'll make the sign of the cross on our foreheads with it. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality and penitence, reminding us that only by the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ are we given eternal life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. So as you place these ashes on your forehead, remember that you are dust, and to dust you will return. Remember that you are but dust, and to dust you shall return. So, so. Remember that you are but dust, and to dust you shall return. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. Most holy and merciful God, we confess to you and to one another before the whole company of heaven that we have sinned by our fault, by our own fault, by our own most grievous fault, in thought and word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, O oh God. 
Almighty God, who forgives all who are truly repentant, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all evil, from within and from without, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Merciful God, accompany our journey on these 40 days. Renew us in the gift of baptism that we may provide for those who are poor, that we may pray for those who are in need, that we may fast from self-indulgence, and that above all, may we find our treasure in the life of your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I'm going to sign off so our friends can bless us. So Nadia had a great, beautiful idea as a beautiful end, which is that a lovely friend. Would you mind introducing Rachel before you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Rachel Kurtz is, um, is an amazing um, singer and songwriter who uh, is an extraordinary person and uh, one of the most encouraging people I know. And she's a single mom of three, and um, she is not suited to homeschool her children suddenly in the last <laughs> year. Um, and she quilts, and she has the biggest love. Um, if you're loved by her, um, you feel it all over. So um, she's going to come on and, um, and sing uh, Just As I Am, just because I can't imagine Ash Wednesday without it. So I'm going to sign off a blessed, blessed Lent to all of you. I love you, Nadia. I love you. Thank you. And Judah, so nice to meet you. You crushed the Psalms. It was so good. <laughs> All right. And now you'll watch me struggle with technology until I can do it. And I will find, and I will find Rachel somewhere in this Instagram feed. And Rachel, my love, you'll just have to keep requesting until I, a professor with no ability to create PowerPoint presentations, will find you. It's going to happen, guys. I believe in us. Isn't Nadia so... I, like, require her authority to... Um... I'm going to find Rachel. I'm going to find her right now. And bless you all who are cold. Oh, hello, my dear. Hi, Hi, darling. I'm like sobbing. This has been so beautiful. Oh, I just I, uh, I heard you have a voice on you, and I <laughs> I can't wait to hear you sing us out. Oh, thank you so much. Gosh, thank you. Just as I am without one plea but that thy blood was shed for me and that thou bidst me come to thee O Lamb of God I come I come just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one wrong blood to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot left of God I come I come just as I am, though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without a lamb of God, I, I come, I come. Just as I am, thou wilt receive, wilt welcome pardon, cleanse, relief, because thy promise I believe, O Lamb of 
God, I come. I come. Because thy promise I believe, O oh Lamb of God, I come. I come. <laughs> Rachel, thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. blessing us. All those of you, I see your comment. I see your prayer requests. All of those Thank in the comment section, us. just know, please, we will be praying for you. Continue yes. to pray for you over Lent. And just know that you are absolutely smothered in the love and abundant grace of God who walks with us in the dark. Go mm. in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God. Thank you, guys. Amen. Love you all. Amen, amen, amen. Take care. Bye-bye.